Hello everyone, Spanky here, and today I'm going to quickly talk about Blasphemous 2, which is a game that I really, really enjoy. I think what Game Kitchen made is fan bloody tastic, and I really like the original. Uh, so this game shaped things up ever so slightly from the original. Uh, it's still a Metroidvania. Um, there's an emphasis on exploration in order to power up, but there's a little bit of a skill system as well. Um, what I really, really like about this game is it gives you three weapons to choose one, as opposed to the one that you had in the first Blasphemous game, the Mia Culpra. And in this game, you get a sword, you get a big hammer, it's called a Varying Dicto, but everyone just calls it a big hammer, mace. Yeah. Bang. No, no, bang. Thank you. Um, and you got rapier as well, which is my, possibly my favourite one, because they're very, very quick, and I like quick weapons in games. That's just my personal preference. Now, what Blasphemous 2 does, it's uh, a very nice little feature, is when you pick a weapon at the start of the game, because it gives you a choice of which one you want to start with, uh, it changes where you've actually can go, because each weapon has their own skills. And that enemy did not die, but still disappeared. Strange. Um, yes, so each weapon has like overworld uses, so the rapiers here can into with mirrors, so you can teleport around. Uh, you can hit bells with a big hammer, and you can cut through barriers with the sword. All very, very nice. Apart from the horrific gore that happens on screen. But tell you what, this game's bloody pretty. I really, really like the graphics in this. I mean, look at it. Look at it. I know we're in a brown section now, so it looks like an Xbox 360 game. But goddamn, it's good. Oh, look, this is a very good room to demonstrate about the uh, weapon skills. Once I get rid of this man. Excuse me. Oh man, I'm bad at this. Alright, uh, so. If I want to use those platforms. Bonk bell. Bell has been bonked. Platforms appear. I want to get through there. Whee! Thanks, rapiers. And look, there's a checkpoint. I'm right near the end of this game because I've got the platinum in a minute. Uh, because I really enjoyed it. If that speaks volumes of how great the quality of this is. That I really want to platinum games. And I'm not really much of a platinum trophy hunter. But by God, I've got it in this because it's a damn good game, just like the first one. So, really, if you like the first one, you're going to like this as well. I can't see anyone changing their mind on the series. Uh, does it really improve the formula? I think it does with the weapon selection as stated. But honestly, it really is just more of the same. And that's never normally a bad thing if you like what they did the first time around. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah, I think that was somewhat not nicey. This game is available on all platforms. Uh, I got it on PS5, which is the version I'm playing now. If it's not like your bag, I can't recommend it enough. Seriously, this game's great. Play it. Play it. Play it. Come on. Who else are you going to give your money to? Fallout 76? You don't want to do that. Hell no. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want to do that. I know a guy who spent £360 on uh, Fallout 76. You don't want to be that guy, do you? No, just pay 25 quid for this. You'll have the time of your life. What are you waiting for? Go on, play it. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wait here. I'm going to wait here until you go and play this game. Okay, no, I've got shit to do. But uh, you get my point. This game's good. Buy it. Enjoy. And that's been my quick thoughts on Blasphemous 2. Go get it. Or don't. I'm not your dad. I hope. Bye!